North Fork podcast. Hello and welcome to the North Fork podcast. Uh, today we're going to do some ballistics gel testing of different bullets. And uh, yeah, so Jürgen, why don't you tell us uh, what we're going to do and how we're going to do it? Yeah, we will try to shoot some, um, some of the, in the business called soft bullets, first yeah. in to ballistic gelatin, mm -hmm. and then we will use a cow bone mm. so to mold it into a ballistic gelatin and shoot it through this bone first, and after it's going into a ballistic gelatin. So uh, what, what bone is this? We can see. This is from a cow. Yeah. But it's a, so, uh, it's a leg bone, right? It's a leg bone, yeah. yeah it's a, so it's a, it's big a pretty bone. big one. Yeah. And if you compare this, for example, for a moose, the bones is a little bit thinner, but they're also harder. Oh, yeah. So we estimate it should be the same results. Okay. But this, this kind of soft bullet is really popular for many driven hunts, mm. especially here in Scandinavia. Yeah, and absolutely. we want to make the test to see how the bullets perform and see if it's a good choice or not. So why are we shooting uh, at the bone? Uh, can you can you explain wh why why we want to do it that way? Yeah, because if you first shoot it in pure ballistic gelatin, mm -hmm. you see how fast the bullet is opening. Yep. When you then add a bone, and you see how they can resist some harder or how they can stay together for a harder resistance if you shoot in a bone. Because when you are in a in a hunt, it's not so easy every time to shoot and don't hit any bones. Yeah, you can't do so, that. At, at a driven hunt, no matter how good of a shot you are, you don't get to place your shot exactly. No, and the animal is never standing like 90 degrees no. to you. It's like no. a quarter away, a quarter yeah. in front or straight yeah. front. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, so that's the difference. So. And, as and if you're really unlucky, you're going to hit mm. a thick shoulder or a, or a thick bone, right? Yeah. When mm. you, yeah, and, and that's sort of what we want to test. Yeah. The, and, and it really is a worst case scenario, wouldn't you say? Yeah, you should say like that. Yeah, so like we really want to see when the when the rubber hits the road. Yeah, uh, yeah. what's going to happen to the bullets? Yeah, you can say like that. Okay, so what bullets do we have? Yeah, we have some um, Hornady Interlock. Mm -hmm. And this is a, a, a classic sort of all around hunting bullet design. Yeah, you should say like that. It's a non bonded, but they have this ring around it. Yeah, the interlock so ring. Interlock, yeah. yeah. So it should stay together, make a really good performance. Basically. That's what we're going to test. Yeah, that's and what th we're th test. This is a, it's a quite um, affordable and popular bullet. I know yeah. I bought this one in the past. Yeah, yeah. For sure. So we have the 165 uh, grain version. Yeah. Okay, and which one is the next one? It's a green one, a green tip. A it's green a tip. <laughs> ballistic tip, yeah. <laughs> It's That's the armor piercing one, right? The, the green tip, yeah, military ammunition. The environment friendly bullet. I don't know which one, but okay. So this is not green. armor piercing. It's no, <laughs> I don't think so. This is a pure, yeah. It's a copper jacket with lead. Yeah. You can say but it's a really like popular bullet, mm. and mm -hmm. it's used a lot for yeah. a long time. Yeah. So uh, yeah. And the, wh why does it have the um, the plastic uh, tip? What's the for hunting bullets, it should, uh, many hunters want it to look like a projectile. Mm, and it should yeah. be really like, look like an arrow. Yeah. See, like that. So they put this polymer tip on it mm. to, to get a higher BC. Higher BC, yeah. yeah. Slightly higher BC, right? Yeah. But if you're shooting for Scandinavia hunting or, yeah, South Africa also, they shoot a little bit longer distance sometimes. But the most hunting is from zero to. Let's say 200, 250 yards, something like that. Yeah, yeah. So, so uh, the BC is not really going to matter uh, too much at those. No, you, you need to bite your tongue a little bit there because many people talk about BC all the time. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's if you compare these two bullets here, and that we can make a text, uh, make a test later, how much they lose in. Yeah, the, velocity. this one is going to have higher BC. Yeah than this one yeah. for sure this is yeah. the lapo omega lapo omega yeah. and but if you shoot it in in 80 150 meters or 80 or 150 yards is you don't see so big drop is it's yeah. like a yeah one centimeter it's not even that no i don't think so either so we can then, make a test later yeah. for this one so okay 
So the third company, no, the th third bullet, I mean, is the Lapo Omega. It's a really popular bullet here in Scandinavia from the, yeah. Finnish Lapo. Very popular. Yeah. I, this used to be my go-to hunting bullet. Yeah. In the 6, 6 5 times mm. 55 I would load the, the Mega. Yeah. And yeah, I've shot, uh, shot a lot of animals with it. Yeah. And certainly I works. think I also used this one time, but that is like 30 years ago. So, <laughs> yeah. It's, <laughs> but yeah, it's quite a while back. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, and then we also choose the Nordfolk, Swedish manufacturer bullets from us. Yeah. Uh, just to have something to compare with. And this is the 180 yeah. grain 308 bullet, right? Yeah, it's a 180. So we have the Mega 185, Ballistic Tip 180, Nordfolk 180, and then. Um, Interlock 165. 165 for Interlock, yeah. yeah. So. Um, yeah, it's going to be really this interesting to see what happens when we yes, shoot, the, yes. shoot at the bone. And, uh, and also the opening from the pure ballistic. So yeah, absolutely. Yeah, right. yeah, to, to compare those two. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I think yeah. uh, those are the bullets we're going to be testing. And uh, yeah, stay tuned the, for, the, for the tests. Now we shoot the North Fork 308, 180 grain. And as you can see here, it starts opening in less than one inch in the ballistic yell. And we have a huge caviation tunnel here. And we have a really, really nice tunnel. And the bullet come 25 and a half inch into the ballistic yell and we have a really really nice mushroom here Here we have the um, Hornady interlock and as you can see it starts also expanding like our North Fork around one inch in. We have a really nice caviation tunnel. We have the penetration here and this is the North Fork bullet in the same block. And then we found the, the Hornady interlock down here and it's going through the other cavation tunnel so you can see it's almost the same penetration 25 26 inches as the North Fork. Okay, and here you can see the results of the Nosler ballistic tip. You can see it start expanding pretty fast. Maybe a half, no, almost an inch in. I come a little bit high in the ballistic blocks, so it throw away the top. And it's penetrate into, here we have the bullet. And we're coming into, 55 centimeters that is 10 centimeters less than the other two bullets Okay, and the last bullet in our test here is the Lapua Mega. And as you can see, it starts expanding almost in the same place as all the bullets done. We have a really nice cavation tunnel here. We have the bullet down here, and this is a 185 grains Lapua Mega. It's come around 61, 62 centimeters, so 24.4. 
24.5 inches. So just a little bit an inch shorter than the interlock and the north fork. So, uh, but a real nice excavation tunnel now. We will dig out these bullets and weight them and see because this is pure 10% ballistic gel. So they should hold together pretty good. Now we come back with the bullets after the ballistic gel test and uh, we should see a little bit about weight retention after this one. First out we have the North Fork 180, looks like this. Pretty nice mushroom, works like it should be. It's coming down to the copper shank. This bullet's original weight is 179.94 and the bullet we shot in 10% ballistic L is 17876. So you can say 1.2 grain is missing in this bullet. Next bullet we shot was the 165 grains Horned interlock. And so it looked like this. Mushroom a little bit more like a ball. It didn't work. Penetrate really good. Really nice caviation tunnel for this one. We have 164.94. And the weight for this one is 130.48. It lost a little bit more, around 35 grains. Then we have the nozzle ballistic tip, and that was a little bit surprising because we only found the lead core. I didn't find any any metal plates. This is only for 10% ballistic gel, and this bullet weighs one 180.3. A little bit more than 180. The leather core that we found is 49.28. Then we have the Lapu Omega, and that mushroom is real nice. And this should be 185. 185.04. And the weight retention for this one is 172.46. So it's also lost a little bit more than 10 grains. North Fork YouTube channel. northforkbullets.com